Well, folks are crying foul after the feds closed off a popular biking trail in Little Cottonwood Canyon. They didn't do it by posting signs, rather by cutting down more than a dozen trees to block the route. Fields Mosley live in Little Cottonwood Canyon tonight. Did anyone know that this was coming, Fields? You know, mountain bikers use that trail for the most part, and they were still finding out as they came up on the trail tonight. For its part, the Forest Service says cutting down a few trees to block an illegal trail is a reasonable way to do this, and they say this trail just does not fit into the plan for Little Cottonwood Canyon. Mountain bikers. I pin it as fast as I can down the mountain. Particularly those that enjoy the free ride version of the sport. There's a, a very large group of mountain bikers who do this kind of riding. I've used these trails in Little Cottonwood Canyon for at least six years. But we've had complaints. Kathy Kalo with the U.S. Forest Service says the trail is unsanctioned, maintained by the riders who use it with no knowledge of environmental impacts. Last week, decided to put an end to the party blocking the trail with more than a dozen trees. This area specifically has resource protection um, emphasis and watershed protection emphasis. This portion of the trail spills into Tanner's Flat, and the Forest Service says over the years they've had lots of complaints about mountain bikers tearing through the campgrounds. It has created issues in the past. I've heard of people mowing over people's tents. We ran into Ryan Maxwell, who was surprised to find one of his favorite rides closed and covered with downed trees. But other riders think they can solve the problems without shutting down the trail. Mike Howell is part of a group that says the Forest Service was never willing to talk. It's frustrating that after three years we get no notice at all and all of a sudden they're cutting down 40 year old trees. We just need to find the right place. Kalo says this isn't it. She says the Forest Service will be working to protect the area. Drop in lower. As Maxwell rode away, he sees a bunch of dead trees as a waste of time. It's not going to stop anything. Howell and his group, they worry about people picking up their chainsaws, going out into the National Forest or anywhere else for that matter, and making illegal trails. They say this is already happening. Both sides agree. Ski resorts could play a part in the solution of this problem by creating harder, more technical, downhill type mountain biking trails. Perhaps it's Snowbird, but it's all been talk up to this point. Back to you, Mark and Sean. All right, Fields, thanks.